Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When we were trying to get this podcast off the ground, we had so many questions. How do we record an episode? Where do we find background music? How do we get our show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places that people like to listen? And where do we find advertisers? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, distributing, and monetizing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and 100% ridiculously easy to use. Anchor makes it simple to get up and running. You can upload and schedule your podcast ahead of time. It publishes to all the major podcast platforms. You can easily check your stats. I could go on and on, but instead, why don't you go and get started? Go to anchor.fm slash start to join the e-commerce minute and a diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. We can't wait to hear your podcast. It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute, episode 351. In today's episode, Kruger brings back Toys R Us for the holidays. The iconic Toys R Us chain may be gone, but its mascot, Jeffrey, isn't going away quietly. Kruger has partnered with Jeffrey LLC, a holder of the Toys R Us intellectual property assets, to put Jeffrey's Toy Box merchandise in nearly 600 stores this holiday season. Fans of the chain will be able to shop for a mix of 35 toys, costing from $19.99 to $49.99. The toys will be for sale at various Kroger-owned grocery stores, including Ralph's, Smith's, and Fred Meyer, as well as the Kroger namesake chain. The displays will feature the Jeffrey mascot, as well as the classic style of the Toys R Us bubble logo. The pop-up stores will feature items that used to be sold only at the giant toy store and were all exclusive to Toys R Us. That meant when the entire chain shut down this past summer, these brands were gone as well. The program includes exclusive toys from brands Animal Zone, Imaginarium, Journey Girls, Edu Science, You and Me, and Just Like Home, with the product selection varying by location. Quote, we're excited to offer Jeffrey's Toy Box this holiday season to provide our customers with the opportunity to purchase a selection of toys once exclusive to Toys R Us, end quote, said Robert Clark, Kroger Senior Vice President of Merchandising, in a statement. The iconic chain closed this past summer after failing to restructure under bankruptcy protection. Toys R Us is kind of back <laughs> a little bit. Why? I, there's some brand equity there. I, that's, that would be my answer. There's definitely brand equity. And I've heard they're tr- this, this Jeffrey LLC, uh, I guess through the Kroger and through other partnerships, they're trying to keep the brand alive, I guess, via partnerships and maybe coming back maybe with their own stores, but that could just be a rumor. Yeah. Like why? <laughs> brand Just equity. Brand, there's a lot listen there's a lot of there's a lot of history people are very nostalgic about toys r us i only because i used to work there a thousand hundred years ago but there's people that were you know you remember when we did that story on toys r us there were so many people that were just like oh my god a piece of my childhood has just died so whoever owns this intellectual property is doing a very smart thing how they continue to capitalize on that is remains to be seen. I think it's too soon. You think it's too soon? You think people just went, oh, I remember that? Or it's like, oh, well, there it is. <laughs> aren't, you, aren't they supposed to be dead? So I think if they waited five years or two years or three years, whatever that is, and then did it, then it's a bigger bang for the buck. Yes, but if you're an investor in Jeffrey LLC, you're going to probably think a different, you're going to probably be singing a different tune. <laughs> True. Because it's secured lenders, and I don't know if there's any peop- anybody in that group that were owed money or, or just kind of hung out to dry. So I think uh, while I understand that, that, that feeling in terms of capitalizing on it, I also think that somebody's going to beat this, beat this giraffe until they get the last drop of money out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's silly. I think they should wait. I mean, by the property rights or whatever else and just let it sit. So the company that owns Jeffrey LLC now owns the intellectual property that includes the trademarks, the e-commerce assets. So somebody still owns that website somewhere and the data from Toys R Us and Babies R Us, United States and internationally. So they control, they control all that data. They still have the website. They have all the trademarks, you know, keep the, keep the trademarks, sell the data and just re redo it when you're when you're first like in five years 
Yeah, no, I, I guess you're all right. I, I guess you're right. I, I don't know. I, I, you I, have that bigger nostalgic thing, right? Like, oh my God, they're back and those kind of things, right? Right, and you can't really scream, oh, they're back. It's like, oh, I'm buying apples and oh, look, Toys R Us. Right, and then redoing some experiential thing or whatever happens in five years, you know, like do something in along those lines. But to come back like this, it's kind of like meh, meh, meh. Yeah, you're right. So to recap the sad Toys R Us story, despite arranging financing and closing a ton of U.S. stores, the 70-year-old retailer was not able to emerge from Chapter 11 this March and announced it would liquidate U.S. operations. It soon closed, I think, in June. Uh, And that included, at the time, 885 Toys R Us and Baby R Us stores in the U.S., Puerto Rico, and Guam, and 810 international stores all circled the drain. So Jeffrey LLC lives on at Kroger. Bart, do you have anything else to add? Meh. Meh. Bart is very meh about this story. I am just Captain Nostalgia today. So we don't agree on this one. Full show notes are at ecommerceminute.co. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We will see you on the internet tomorrow. Meh. Meh. <laughs> meh. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.